The air is cool and refreshing as I set out on a hike to the Hill of the Cross. It is set to offer the best views of Antigua, including an unobstructed view of Volcan Agua. Because of my early start, I had the trail mostly to myself. The ascent provides a unique perspective, making it a popular spot for both tourists and locals. I get to the top and admire the view. The scenes alone from this lookout prove just why this town is frequented throughout the year. I make my way down the trail to begin exploring within the city. Antigua was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1979 in recognition of its cultural and historical significance. The city's colonial architecture, such as the Santa Catalina Arch, creates a captivating backdrop for exploring the rich history and culture. The cobblestone streets are lined with vibrant markets, offering a glimpse into the daily life of the locals. My stroll through the city brings me to Central Park, which features well-manicured gardens, pathways, and a central fountain. It is a classic example of Spanish colonial urban planning, with a central plaza as a focal point. Like many other structures in Antigua, the Convento Santa Clara suffered significant damage during the earthquakes of the 18th century. Today, the convent stands as a set of picturesque ruins with remnants of walls, arches and courtyards. The beautiful courtyards and gardens provide a serene and peaceful atmosphere. As the sun sets on Antigua, I leave behind a city that's not just a destination, but a living testament to the enduring spirit of a rich cultural heritage. I travel west to the breathtaking Lake Atitlan, passing through the Guatemalan highlands. Nestled between towering volcanoes, Lake Atitlan is surrounded by charming indigenous villages. Each village has its unique character, offering visitors an opportunity to experience the warmth and hospitality of the local Mayan communities. I arrive at Panahachal, which serves as a gateway to other towns and villages around the lake, making it a convenient starting point for exploring the region. Panahachal is located in an area with a significant indigenous Mayan population, primarily of the Kachaikal ethnic group. One of the iconic experiences in Panachal is watching the sunset from the town stop. Panachal's natural beauty, cultural richness, and tranquil ambience make it a favorable destination for those seeking a blend of relaxation and exploration in the heart of Guatemala. The lake is easily accessible from any of the villages, 
but this particular hiking trail takes me to an isolated part of the lake. There's also a path that takes you to a waterfall. As I trek through the forest, I hear the howl of monkeys. I take a pause to try to spot them high above in the trees. The hanging bridges provide an added element to the hike. I spot the waterfall in the distance and make my way down to its base. After a quick rest, I head towards the lake. Lake Atitlan is a volcanic crater lake formed by a massive volcanic eruption over 84,000 years ago. The lake is approximately a thousand feet deep, making it one of the deepest lakes in Central America. I finally take a swim in one of the most beautiful lakes in the world. The water is cool and relaxing. I take a tuk-tuk to the ferry dock. There are public and private ferries that take you to the other villages around the lake. I take the public ferry, which didn't take too long to fill up, and stops at most villages to drop off and pick up passengers. I get off at the San Juan dock, which happens to be the last stop. The village is adorned with colorful murals and street art, depicting aspects of the local culture, history, and nature. These vibrant artworks contribute to the unique atmosphere of San Juan La Laguna. From San Juan, I take a short tuk-tuk ride to San Pedro. The village is primarily inhabited by the Zuctuhil Mayan people who maintain their cultural traditions and practices. San Pedro has gained popularity among backpackers and travelers, offering a lively atmosphere with numerous hostels, cafes, and international cuisine options. The village has become a hub for budget travelers seeking a laid-back environment and stunning views of the lake. Shuttle arrives at 4 a.m. to take me on a guided hike tour to the Mayan Face Mirador Indian Nose. There are seven other people on this tour. I jump out the van and the temperature is freezing as we begin the hike. The first 10 minutes are flat and straightforward, but that changes quickly as the path climbs drastically. It is pitch black and the only thing guiding us through the steep path is the faint light of our tour guide. After 45 minutes of hiking, we make it to the top. The Mayan Face Indian Nose Hike provides one of the best views of Lake Atitlan. I recommend you doing the hike to witness the sunrise or sunset, but I'm sure you will experience gorgeous views throughout the day as well. I say farewell to San Pedro and Lake Atitlan and begin the long journey to Tikal. Deep in the heart of the Guatemalan jungle lies Tikal National Park, 
a place where the ancient mysteries of the Maya civilization come to life. The journey begins at the visitor center, where the modern world fades away and the ancient Maya world beckons. Tika was once a thriving city, the heart of a civilization that reached its peak from the 6th to the 9th centuries. Okay guys, if you come into Tikal, come into the park, um, don't forget your bug spray, your cream, your repellent. I'm getting eaten alive. I had to stop somebody and ask them to borrow some of their spray. Um, about 25 minutes into the hike. So just exploring, saw a few monkeys, some birds. Um, took a break because it's humid. Its temples, pyramids and plazas stand as a testament to the engineering and architectural prowess of the ancient Maya. Each temple tells a story of the Maya rulers who sought to touch the heavens. Temple 1, also known as El Castillo, rises majestically above the jungle canopy, while Temple 2 and Temple 3 stand as silent witnesses to a bygone era. Tikal isn't just about stones, it's a living ecosystem. Howler monkeys swing through the trees and toucans call from above and the ancient city is embraced by the sounds of the jungle. They had influence. 
Might have to travel from Mexico City all the way down here. Huh. As the sun sets over Tikal, the temples take on a magical glow. Tikal, a place where the echoes of the ancient Maya linger in the air, where the stones tell stories, and the jungle guards the secrets of a civilization that once ruled these lands. Guatemala, a land of contrasts and beauty, where history and tradition intertwine with the lush landscapes. Thanks for joining me on this visual journey through Guatemala and may the colors, flavors, and warmth of this extraordinary country stay with you.